Hi everyone. So today I'm going to read the story that you've been learning in class to you, The Three Little Pigs. Now this version is by Melissa Sweet. So it might be a little bit different to the version that you've heard because there's lots of different versions of these fairy tales. So I'm going to read this one to you today. Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig with three little pigs. And since she was too poor to keep them, she sent them out to seek their fortune. There they are. Three little pigs. The first little pig set off and he met a man with a bundle of straw. Please, man, said the pig, give that give me that straw to build a house, which the man did. And he built his little house. So there he is with the man. Let's get his straw. <clears throat> then along came a wolf who knocked on the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The little pig answered, no, 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 not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in and he ate up the first little pig. The second pig met a woman with a bundle of sticks. Please woman, said the pig, give me those sticks to build a house, which the woman did. And the second little pig built his house. And there he is with his house full of sticks. Then along came the wolf, who knocked on the door and he said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The pig answered, No, 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 not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So the wolf said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the wolf huffed. And he puffed and at last he blew the house in and he gobbled up the second little pig. There he is. Then along came the third little pig who saw a man with a pile of bricks. Please man, said the pig, can I have those bricks to build my house? The man gave the little pig some bricks and the little pig built her house. And there she is with her house full of bricks. Then along came a wolf who knocked at the door and he said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig answered, no, 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 not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the wolf huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, but he could not blow the house in. And there he is, struggling to blow the house in. Why do you think that is? So why do you think he could blow the first two houses in, but not this second one? The wolf 
was very angry indeed and he said he would eat up the little pig and he would come down the chimney to get her and there he is he's angry so he stood on her roof made of bricks he's peering down the chimney he's going to try and get him to gobble her up let's see if he does so the little pig made a blazing fire and put a huge pot of hot water to boil on it. Just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pig took the lid of the pot and the wolf fell in. Then the little pig put the lid on again and boiled up the wolf until there was nothing left. And the little pig lived happily ever after. And there he is. The end. So I hope you enjoyed that one. And I know you probably heard another version of the three little pigs in class. And that's okay because there's lots of different versions of these traditional tales. So it's wonderful to, for you to hear quite a few different versions. So I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.